Good morning, everybody, or wherever you live. I know we got viewers all around the world. You know, it's 8.30 a.m. here. I just did a little walk to the grocery store, grabbed some groceries. I already took my shower and ate breakfast, so it's a beautiful day today. Grateful to be alive, and I wanted to dive in today to our headphone section of our um, free subliminal uh, lessons I'm doing, and I want to turn this into, I feel, maybe a 7... 10 video the most free course that we're going to do and headphones guys it's very important and I know it may sound redundant to a lot of you guys but it's very important you know that we understand some of these key key points right I don't want people just to know that subliminal messages work I want them to understand the why's right it's like a rubber band ball right you have to understand or a Rubik's cube if why this does this why this does that if I move this this is going to adjust accordingly at a 72.88 repeating degree angle but then that's going to off throw this by you know five degrees I want people to understand the why's that's what understanding is, right? Someone could tell their kids not to take drugs, but if they don't tell their kids why from here, it's never going to work. And at the end of the day, I can't force you guys to do anything. I tell parents all the time, you cannot force your children to do anything. And it, it, it's, it scares a lot of parents because out of, but guys, life is going to take its course. We all have our own individual journey or path that we're going to go through. You know, my past was not pretty, or that, excuse me, that boy's past was not pretty, but it allowed him to enter a new lifetime, and then another lifetime, and another lifetime, and this is the power of subliminal messages, guys, and I say it time and time again. All around us, we have life, right? The 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 fruits, the veggies, you know, you know, I have some garlic here I'm about to eat after this. And the plants, right? The, the plants, these are not real plants, all vibrate on 528 hertz. John Lennon was going to put 528 hertz in his movie before, you know, he got capped. And the rainbows and the stars and the galaxy vibrate on 528 hertz. And I talk about it in a scientific study they had. They put an instrument down into oil spilled water that was vibrating on 528 hertz. The very next day, sea life was already returning to the ocean. And when the skeptics showed up, they tested it. <laughs> they tested the parts per million and the skeptics were blown away that it was true. The media, the media, of course, does not talk about how in just four years, four years, the vibration of love on the internet is collectively at a billion views. We need some good news. We need the truth. I love the, the end of the new Star Wars movie where Princess Leia says, the enemy always thinks they're more powerful than they, are, they think they really are and they, they want the masses to think. If you light that beacon, we are not alone. Help will come. Very wise words. Very truthful words. And I want people to know the truth, guys, that our subconscious creates, some experts say 50,000, other experts say 75, some even say 100,000 thoughts a day. This is our subconscious mind. Now, what does that mean? Well, we all know, I know most people that listen to subliminals know, you know, um, the basics of all of this, 101, that our thoughts create our emotions, right? Whatever you consciously think about or your focus creates your reality. This is, you know, Yoda's very right about that. You know, any successful person will tell you he's right. You know, whoever, who, I don't know who wrote Yoda's lines, but they were very, very ahead of their times. <laughs> but your focus creates your reality. Your consciousness, right, is going to create your emotions. This is why I talk about it with just about any other self-help guru. Like I said, this is just 101, right? But... You need to stop reacting like a mindless monkey, right? Or you need to stop reacting like a mindless monkey. And you need to start letting the wheels in your head turn, right? You need to start thinking and then responding. Thinking and then responding. 
And when you do this, you're able to direct your emotions. When I spill coffee on myself or I spill something, I don't go, ah! No, I go, okay, now I need to grab a napkin. You know, my, my little five and uh, four-year-old niece and nephew were asking me, and you know, Luke, they were trying to understand, you know, they were like, why are you always so calm? Or how are you always so just not all over the place like everybody else we meet? You know, I'm not bashing on the people that my sister hangs out with, even though, I mean, I sometimes... Anyways, guys, so basically, guys, our thoughts, like I said, we can consciously direct our emotions. Now, our subconscious mind cannot... Your subconscious mind cannot reject any idea, right? We cannot reject... Sorry, guys, I gotta change this. For some, some reason, some crazy song started playing. I wanna be a little chilled out right now, right? It's still 8.35. But guys, our subconscious mind cannot reject, right? It's ran purely on emotion. This is why it's important to be consciously thinking for you're not thrown all over the place, right? And this is why when a politician, I don't, I'm not saying all politicians are bought off, even though unfortunately nowadays the majority are owned by the same people that own the media. But when you hear a po politician or a religious figure, anybody give a speech, right? You hear a public figure up there giving the speech, some people in the crowd are just like, hallelujah, praise be to God, while other people are sitting there and they're actually, you know, they're thinking and they're like, wait a moment, nothing this guy is saying is lining up at all, <laughs> right? And this is because, like I said, our conscious mind has the ability to think and decide what we're going to accept and reject. Our subconscious mind cannot. Now, like I said, life all vibrates on 528 hertz. You and I are the highest form of creation or life there is. This is not condescending the little dogs or animals. This is a responsibility and a privilege that we should appreciate that we have imagination. We have perception. We have intuition. We have reason. We have memory that we, we can use to create galaxies, anything we want, and the ability to consciously reprogram our subconscious mind. So now that we understand this, right, that our thoughts are what create our emotions and that we can consciously, right, as cre divine creators, through repetition, we all know, I, go, watch the, my other, go watch the other free video on the rule of 21 days, but through repetition, we can reprogram our subconscious mind. Consciously, we can reprogram our subconscious mind. Those 50 to 100,000 thoughts that are directing our deepest vibration down to the very decimal. And whatever that is, it's going to come right back up to us. Those images we focus on are going to attract other individuals who those images are fo they're focusing on two similar images. So this is why, guys, and I wanted, I know a lot of people are wondering why I went on for eight minutes about, eight minutes, you know, about all of that. But this is why it's very important that you put this in your ear and you let the message play and repeat the affirmations. Why? I just told you why. You need to actually hear the message and allow your subconscious mind to reprogram and this is debunking the bullshit myth out there excuse my language but if, guys i know a lot of people know by now or understand that there's one thing that pisses me off that gets me fired up only one thing and that is a sleazy snake salesman or somebody that makes youtube videos or videos not knowing what the hell they're understanding what the hell they're talking about just for they can get attention or just because it's a hot topic and they want people to come clickbait to their youtube video that pisses me off because you're screwing over people's lives and i could go down a long list of current self-help gurus that should not be teaching that inherited their mommy and daddy's old wine wine money old money before becoming a one-hit wonder I could go down the long list of fake, but I'm not going to do that, guys. So, it's very important, guys. Now, like I said, now you know why I went on for eight minutes, for you can really understand why. The frequency of the subliminal affirmation is not going to reprogram your subconscious mind or your thoughts that create the energy. That's a very backwards. It denies the way we were created. Guys, when you look at an application on your phone, and you 
play a video game, maybe League, or I don't know what's popular nowadays, Smite I heard is a popular one, you know, and you or Farmville I remember was really hot for a while, those games have algorithms, right, that you cannot go past. Now a lot of game creators are very creative and very bright up here mentally like us, or like I want us all to be. And they under, there's very few limitations, but there's still algorithms that create the game. And when you completely understand these algorithms, you're able then to master the game and add your own personal spin, right, to whatever it may be, PvP or whatever. But you have to completely understand those algorithms first. We have our own algorithms, right? We have 50,000 to 100,000, I just told you, thoughts and algorithms running in our subconscious mind. When I write my subliminals, they're basically, excuse me, like algorithms. And it's very important, like I said, to understand that it's our thoughts that create the emotion and the frequencies and the vibration we're in. So yes, I just told you, you know, we have to put these bad boys in. Now, you don't need both headphones in, guys. You just need one in, right, for your subconscious mind to hear the affirmation. So you could, you could be writing, you could be reading a magazine, you could be, you know, on Instagram, scrolling through your Facebook, whatever it may be you do, right? You know, you could be watching your favorite, you know, maybe you're watching Planet Earth like I like to do sometimes. And you're just, you just need one headphone in. That's it. Now, I myself, I don't know where they're at, would highly recommend, I have a pair of Headphones I bought off Amazon for like 10 or 15 bucks. You don't need to you don't need to go crazy, you know, at the end of the day unless if you're going way up, you know, it's not going to make a huge difference the price. Now guys, I have a pair of headphones that you can put into your ears and they're designed specifically for sleeping. They're sleep headphones. Very very beautiful, right? So you can actually sleep in these. And I want to keep this focused on headphones. And people often ask me what's the best quality to download um, download uh, my subliminals in. And the answer is WAV. W-A-V or WAV. I know people say it, pronounce it differently, but W-A-V all caps. And that, that's, guys, there's not really much to it, but I really wanted to make this video for people can understand, which is why I came out to a 12 minute video just on, just on headphones. Why? Like I said, you can just have one in. That's it. You don't need, you don't need both, but as long as you can hear it. And then people ask me about volume all the time. Volume is, it, de it really depends on the subliminal you're listening to. My subliminals, I'm always about... 25 to 50 percent sometimes if my roommates are getting very loud I'll bump it up to you know 80 not 100 percent sometimes but you don't ever want to hear the actual affirmation clearly now you can hear some voices talking that's fine but you don't ever want to hear the affirmation clearly so that's that that's how you adjust the volume but you don't need to worry or be afraid, which is ignorance, right? I want to. I want you guys to understand this, which is the opposite of those two. That the guys, the the mind could make a superhuman computer, or the most advanced, excuse me, the most advanced, highest grade, you know, computers, you know, NASA grade technology. Our minds can make it look like a fucking piece of mush. I mean. Our, we have enough energy in our bodies to light up an entire city. Even after our physical body dies, it's still letting off a heat signature. We're, we're just barely tapping into the potential that we have now in this beautiful revolution that we're in right now of awakening and enlightenment. Don't underestimate your subconscious mind. Don't underestimate your mind. If those subliminals are there, you don't, your subconscious mind will hear them, will pick them up, and this is how, like I said, one family, unfortunately, one criminal family, and guys, 
I understand, yes, some of them are bullshit conspiracy theories, but these are the facts. A lot of them are facts. And I can send you links all day long. You know, I'm not talking out of my ass. But anyways, this is how one family right, has controlled the masses through the media, their bought-off news, and their bought-off politicians for so long. Right? Because they understand all of this. You don't need to hear the subliminals in order for it to go into your subconscious mind. Your mind will pick it up if they're there. Your subconscious mind will pick it up if it's there. Right? You don't need to clearly hear them, or you don't need to hear them all the way. If they're there, your mind will hear it. And this is why when I say, when you sleep and your subconscious mind is wide open, very susceptible, it's very important, you know, what music... If you're living with somebody else, they're playing what they're listening to because your subconscious mind will just suck that all right in. I believe this answers just about all of the headphone questions. I can't think of a whole lot more. I mean, get creative, guys. You can buy waterproof headphones. You know, you can go swimming with what have your headphones on. These guys... I like to ride my bike on. I don't listen to subliminals while I ride my bike. But, I mean, we all know about the earbuds now, right? The earbud headphones, you know, if you want to be. And, guys, this is this is about driving. You know, driving, I know some people are very good at multitasking. I'm sure most of you guys are, like myself, because, you know, we're consciously thinking and we're consciously, you know, awakened. Or we're not just reacting but when you're driving, some people can easily get distracted by the noise. And then that becomes a risk, right, for me and subliminal creators. Which is why we say don't ever drive or operate machinery. Now, if, if you are a good multitasker, then yeah, you know, do what you want to do. But don't quote me on that, because I'm not, I'm, that's not me giving you advice, right? But me, myself... I like to, I put one earbud in with my subliminals when I have a half an hour drive, you know, right? That's 30 minutes I could be listening to affirmations right there, right? Sometimes when I go on a hike by myself for a couple hours, got them playing. So get creative with this, guys. These, this is headphones in a nutshell. If you have any more questions about headphones, guys, drop them down below. I'm going to be releasing another one of these in a couple days. And guys, I'm very grateful. Our community is growing I see some of our own members answering questions that other people are posting. I mean, a new person shows up and asks a question, and our own community members are stepping in to help. This is the kind of community we're building, guys. We really are building something special here. And I'm very grateful very grateful for all of you, and I'm very grateful for this experience. Like I said, it's not even been half a year yet, but we really are building something special here, guys. We really are starting to take off and build a very loving and very supportive community. I love you all. I think Zan and Snickers back there fell asleep. 